Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Iranian hardline lawmakers lit a paper U.S. flag on fire at Parliament Wednesday after President Donald Trump's nuclear deal pullout shouting death to America. Now the lawmakers, including a Shiite cleric, held the flaming flag alight as their colleagues joined their chants. They also burned a piece of paper representing the nuclear deal and stomped on the paper's ashes. Now while U.S. flag burning is common in Iran and harsh criticism of America has been a staple of Iran Iranian parliamentary par politics, excuse me, for years, it was the first time the political observers could remember anything being burned inside the parliament itself, and President Hassan Rouhani made a point of stressing that Iran at any time could resume its nuclear program. Now, I, for one, believe that Iran has never uh, uh, dismantle this nuclear program, that it never stopped working on nukes, that it most likely has nuclear armaments already, that the 2015 deal was just a farce. That's my belief on that. And as far as setting that paper flag on fire, while well, it's for show, certainly um, they're lucky nothing else caught on fire, like their suit coats, for example. That would have been something to see, huh? Uh, what are the broader implications here? Uh, again, we had Israel late yesterday afternoon hitting Iranian targets inside uh, Syria near Damascus. What's going to come of this? This is what we need to be watching. I will leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to, my friends. And... Uh, Check out the link below to my new fiction book, Light, a Wayfarer Story. If you're watching the world, especially America, you would really like this book. Most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. America has been flipped upside down as the new world order is dissolving the nation's sovereignty. Artificial intelligence and cryptocurrencies are the norm, despite electricity, internet, cable, and phone service working only part of the time. The fog of deception is heavy, and even the elect and the elected are being deceived. American citizens are losing constitutional rights and possibly the Constitution itself. The rich and powerful are playing God, and on the surface, it appears that they're enjoying great success. Read my new fiction book, Light, A Wayfarer Story, available in Kindle and paperback and linked below.